Hello everyone! How are y'all doing? Alright, so I was having a little issue, so I'm running like a minute behind, but it's all good. I get caught up quick. <laughs> Night, honey. Okay, so how are y'all doing tonight? I missed y'all. It was weird not being live for like a week and some. So hopefully y'all are doing well, and you've had a good week while I was gone. Okay, so we're going to be doing Boo to You from our crew tonight, and let me get the stream up so I can see what we're, what we're doing. All right. So here's our ribbons. I'm obsessed with this one. <laughs> well, I'm obsessed with this one too. I like both of them. I don't know why I say that like um, I don't like any of them because you know I do. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So we have these two ribbons. Y'all, this one is watercolor. I've never seen one exactly like this before. It almost looks like, you know, like painted on there. I think it's very cool. Y'all, I have tons of glitter on this side from this really cool ribbon right here. Okay. So I want to put my ribbons together real quick because I ran out of time to do that. I was working on kits. I promised I would get some kits up. So I stopped to do that before I came on. There are two kits listed. So if you've been waiting for one, it's there. There's two there. One with a Christmas truck with a wagon pulling presents, and one with um, Halloween. This ghost. I know, poor mama. My mama hasn't been feeling well, y'all. So, she's had a rough time. Okay. Now we get started. All right, so we're gonna do Woodland Ruffle tonight because we haven't done that in a while. And I love to do that, so I thought it would be fun. So we have our black base. We'll put it back here. Bella's sleeping, you can see. All right, let's get zoomed in. There we go. Well, thank you, son, how sweet. Let's use my phone because it's nice and heavy. <laughs> Alright. So, 34 inches is what I cut it at. So, I used the majority of the rolls. My vacation was great. I got to spend all kinds of time with my boys that I never get to do. You know, they're teenagers. So, teenagers don't always want to spend a whole lot of time with their mom, but on vacation they do. What did I do with my glasses? Oh, ha, I put them right here. Okay. All right, so I always like to open everything. Thank you, Pamela. Pamela sent me stars, y'all. Wasn't that sweet? Okay. So I like to open these up. Before I get started, it just makes things go smoother faster. I know it's lightning here too. Y'all, it's raining. Yuck. Just yuck. All right, so we've got them all open. Thank you. All right. So when I do the woodland ruffle, I like So this is one of the last ones. So you see how it rolls like that? So I just like to put something on the other end so it doesn't do that. And I'm gonna do one, two, three rolls. I'm gonna use a chip clip, clip it, flip it. Nope, we only were there for a week. And then ruffle right up the middle. 
I did. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, and then, so the best thing about this is you get both the ruffle and the curl. So we're just going to place it down. Nova Scotia. What's the weather like there? There we go. So we're going to do the exact same thing on this one. And I see I am out of frame. Let's move. There we go. Okay. So one, two, three curls. Clip it. Clip it. Oh, well, the, this wreath kit is sold out. There is one, a Halloween one, that does not have gnomes on the sign. It has ghosts. And it says, it's a beautiful night. It's black and white, y'all. Okay. So we just spread them out, just like we normally do. And there went my first thing off the table. So we do spread out the ruffles just like normal. Yeah, sorry, Al. I listed the other one and didn't send you the link. All right, so then we're going to use these two ribbons together. So this is how you do the tail. So I know someone was struggling, so we're going to do it up close. So you take them, you fold them in half so that they are the same size. Then you know what the middle is because you creased it, and then you just pinch it together. Just pinch and then you pull them down like this, making a bird. At least that's what it seems like to me. Then, you tie it on. And you can clip off the excess because you don't need it. Alright, then we're going to spread them out. Because we want to see the whole ribbon. They're so pretty. And you'll notice I work in batches. I'll do two, and then I'll do the ribbons. I find it faster. All right, so fold in half, pinch. And you're just scrunching it in the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Fold those ends over. See, what that does is that, you see how it does this? That's what making that little curve does. Then we'll stretch this one out. And I do the ribbons opposites, like that. Okay. Then we'll go to the next set. What did I do? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost my. Let me wait for a second. You have a hard time getting your ribbons spread out. Okay, we'll go through that again. All right, so I do three curls on each side, and you roll it, ruffle it right up the center. So exactly like the normal way you ruffle. You're just holding your thumbs in the back and let your fingers do the walking. And then we're spreading it out. So you just put them up together and let them kind of do their own little thing. Because they will. Oh, is there bad smoke in California? Okay. Ew. Y'all had to take my mom to the emergency room yesterday. We were there for seven and a half hours and we had to wear our mask the whole time. Ooh, that was not fun. The mask is much worse than waiting at the hospital. Yay, you made it. Okay. So we're just going to ruffle it out. The 
just like this. So lots of y'all struggle with the ribbon tails. Yep, they're 30 inch, well they're woodland ruffles, but yep, ruffles. Okay, 34, I said 30, 34 inch. Mama's having some stomach issues. Okay, so I'll put it in. Now watch this. If you did not curl your ends when you put it in, do it now. Just take them and just put your hand under it and just kind of do this. Just kind of get that little curl going. You'll have a lot better time getting your ribbons to work if you do that. And then you're going to spread them out and don't be afraid to pull on them. So if your ribbons are like sticking together, you got to pull. As long as it's in there tight, you're good. Hey, hey, Brenda. Thank you. Mom's doing a little better today, CT. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I was supposed to have a call with my group yesterday, and I had to cancel it because we had to run to the ER. Oh, and they made her drink that horrible stuff to have a CT scan. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That really, I call it concrete. That's what it looks like to me. It's like this white, thick stuff. You struggle with adding the sign. Yep, we'll do a close-up of that too. Sure enough. Um, I don't know. I think we have some of these left. I'll have to check in the morning. Okay, let's see. Y'all, I am just losing everything. Okay. So, one two, three, and then right up the center. Just like this. These are cut at 34 inches, so it's a little bit different just because when I do the curl, I don't want it to make the ruffle really short, so I add two inches on, in, on each side that way. Yeah, right? They, the, the flavor they gave her was banana what was it, Mom? Banana smoothie? Yeah, banana smoothie. Which, I was so proud of her, she drank the whole thing. They brought it in and she said, she said to the nurse, I can't drink that whole thing. But she did. She did great. So. Okay. So, pinch. This is why you want to use wired ribbon, y'all. Oh, uh, my mom had to have a CT scan yesterday, so she had to drink the nasty stuff that you have to drink when you do a CT scan. It's like contrast stuff. That stuff is terrible. If you've ever had to have one, you'll know it's terrible. Um, I have the list of mesh to list. That sounded funny. I was hoping to get to it before this, but I didn't. So I'll do it tonight when I get off here. And I do have a bunch. See, I have, let's see. Y'all, I have like 16 of the white with the snow drift in it. I have black with snow. I have a lot of this purple with the purple edge. I have this line. I have frayed burlap. Oh, and I have a bunch of the tan cotton drift. And a black, and the black tinsel from one of my last kits. So, yep, we'll be listing it. We were working on trying to get inventory of what we've got today. So we can get it listed. Yeah. Oh, y'all, so. You went to Hobby Lobby for the first time? Oh my gosh. 
gosh, what'd you think? Okay. Oh no, you shattered your phone. That's that is not fun. I haven't, but one of my children shattered their iPad. And we had to get it fixed. It was quite an ordeal. Oh, and I'm ordering extra ribbon. So that I'll, I'm ordering fall ribbon and Halloween ribbon so I can get those listed too. Yes. I right, Cynthia? Mm-mm. Yuck. Well my mom's a um, she is allergic to the IV dye. So she has to drink the yucky stuff. Not much of a choice. You just do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. This thing keeps catching my ribbon. Okay. Okay. This one in. Spread them out. So I like to spread them out so you can see those cute little jack o' lanterns. I really love this watercolor ribbon. Need to get some blanks too, Al. Yeah, so um, my employee, Tori, y'all, she's awesome. Since we work in a warehouse, I told her we could take turns bringing our dogs. She has, she has a Great Dane and she has a Shepherd. And so, the tails are four, the tails are 12 inches. I almost said 14. <laughs> Warehouse is coming along really well. It's not coming along quite as fast as I would like it to, but with vacation being in the middle of it, it's no surprise. But it's really nice to have. We don't have all that stuff downstairs. You can actually see our couch. It's pretty nice. As you all know, the, these crafts could take over your house before you know it. Whether you have a business doing it or not. <laughs> it just takes over. I missed y'all too. I'm not sure. I have to look. Peggy, I'll have to look. I'll look tomorrow and let you know. I do have the frayed burlap though. We usually have some left over, but uh, I haven't had a chance to look. And if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of doing it upside down because I want to have it kind of right side up with the kind of the ruffles on the top instead of on the bottom. So. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you have a whole bunch of wreaths in your house, 
I'll give you a hint. So get the wire hangers that have a little bit of coating on them. And then you're going to put the wire hanger up to the back of your wreath. And you get these large 32 gallon, are they 32, 60 gallon? I think they're 60 gallon bags. They have them at Sam's, I know for sure. And you put that over the wreath and you can hang it in your closet sideways. And you can pack them in and they're protected. Or the other thing you can do is go ahead and pack them in a box, label the box, and then put them wherever you store stuff, in your garage or whatever, because the box will protect it. Yep. Have I ever made a what? Palm tree. Have I ever made a palm tree? I don't think I have. That does give me ideas, though. I bet you could do that with a frame from the Dollar Tree. That's very interesting. I'll have to think about that. Yeah. I think packing them in a box. Now I'm on my page. Z is over there moderating. I'm dueling it again. You're wondering who the heck I'm talking to, right? All right, so we got the bottom done. Look how cute that is. All right, so let's open up the top and then we're gonna do the top. All right. So we're gonna keep alternating. That's kind of what I was thinking. A couple of candy canes to do a palm tree. That's kind of exactly what I was thinking. See, great minds think alike. You even have the same last name. I wish my husband was the shipper. He's not. We kind of all do the shipping here. Me, Tori, my dad. Yep, it's a family affair. Yep, that's a good idea. I know, don't you love these colors together? I do too. Well, this ribbon here is what inspired me. This watercolor ribbon. I just really liked the purple with the green in it. So everything I designed, what's around that ribbon? Is that funny? The one on how to pack the wreath, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are some colors that just go together really well. Yeah, I couldn't run my business without my dad and my mom. No way. Oh, and listen to this. So, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I design my signs, and I'm actually designing, not just purchasing 
all of the designs. I'm now actually designing them. And so now Ross has started making backgrounds for me. And he's really good at it. He's made me um, some buffalo plaid ones. And he did a candy cane one. Alright, so I like to put the two and a half inch going this direction because there's more room. Go in that direction. So I find it doesn't get crushed as often. I'm already attached to purple, so it wasn't hard to get attached to green. <laughs> like I have redone my craft room about 15 times I think I feel like that's a never-ending job <laughs> okay oh I wish I had a basement too I'm happy with my warehouse and my new little studio is coming along well so I'm excited I'm excited yep I have the pumpkin shaped wreath and we are gonna be doing something with that very soon Somebody's also been asking me for a Snow Queen wreath, and I have something in the works for that, too. Whoops, look, I just pulled all my ribbon out. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to order some of the football ones, too. I think there's a lot. I missed a ribbon on the bottom. I see it. I'll fix it. Oh, look. I see I put two right next to each other. No worries. Easy to fix. Yes, we're going to be doing an ice skate wreath. I'm waiting for them to get ice skates in. It's a little early for that yet. But soon. Okay, so we need to fix this one on the bottom. So let's do that. Okay. ideas I want to try with that um, pumpkin one. I watched part of a video on it and I thought her idea was great. So I don't want to tell you anything about it until I go back and look see what her name is because it has flown my mind right this second. Fix the bottom. Let's go to the top. Ice skates and a few others. <laughs> oh, I'm about ready to list some new signs. I've been 
working on them since I got back. So. Okie dokie. There are a couple of breast, breast cancer ones, but I have a new one in mind. <clears throat> I even know what it's going to say. So. Hopefully that will be up this week. Yeah, so remember, I do have my signs in both my hardworkingmomsstore.com and my Etsy, but on Etsy, there's no sale going on. But on hardworkingmomsstore.com, there is a sale going on. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. So our power just, like, went out immediately. Okay, now we're back. So sorry, y'all. I don't know. Of course, it's storming here, so everything was going along fine, and then all of a sudden, bam, lights went out, and it was dark. Okay. So, we're going to just keep on doing our three little curls. Flip it around. Three more. And then go right up the center. There we go. Oh, well, I did get um, YouTube back up, but it's not the same stream. If you've ever watched me before, you'll know that I have a tendency to knock things on the floor a lot. So don't worry if you hear things crashing. <laughs> It's just me. That's what I do. Rossy Posse. Come here, buddy. Okay. That was quite shocking, I'm just going to tell y'all. Where are we at? We're right here. Sorry we had that little interruption. You know, seems like every time we have storms here, we lose power. Happens a lot. Thankfully, this time it just came right back on. So, ooh, ribbon tails. Fold them in half, and then you just pinch it and pull it under. That pull under is one of the most important parts. And then you can tie it, clip it off, and spread out your ribbon. Okay, we'll probably just have to cut another one because Ross doesn't hear me. That's okay. We can do that. Right? Yep. Okay, flip it around. Do three again. And then right up the center. All right, here we go. It is still booming out there. Oh, 
And of course I drop all my stuff. Okay. Here we go. Now we're back on. Oh, but I need to mute it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now don't worry, I'll put these two together later so there'll be one video. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. I am back on mom but it's on another it's on another link. Okay. I did have a great time on vacation. I did. It was fun. Okay. Get those ribbons straightened. Okay. So I dropped one ribbon, so I'll go grab it in a minute, but I know, right? Just a little misinterruption right in the middle. Well, not really in the middle. Towards the end. Here it is. Okay. I love this ribbon. <laughs> this little one with the little owls and the... Oh no, I dropped two ribbons. All right, hold on. Yep, I did, two. Aha. <laughs> now I got them. Awesome. Thank you. I love these colors together. Aren't these great colors together? Of course, I like anything with purple in it. That's just my color. Mom's feeling a little better. She's, um, she's a little better today. So, we'll take it. Poor thing, I know she had to be tired. We were at the hospital till, I guess it was after 10, because we got home like after 10.30. So. Okay. Your hair has purple underneath? <gasps> yep, that was back there. purple underneath. Well, um, they're going to do a colonoscopy and see what they can do to help her. So, hopefully so. Alright. So, we got the basic part done. See, isn't that cute? Alright. Now... We're going to do a close-up of the sign. And we're going to do a bow. So let's do the bow. Uh, Mom's been having some stomach problems. So I want to see... Before we do that, I want to see Alright, I have this weird idea We're going to cut a yard of this So that's 36 inches 
We're going to find the center of it. Pinch it in the center. It's going to be different. I'm going to place it down in the bow maker. And this is going to come out like that. So this works best if it's towards the end of the roll because that's when it's curly. Okay, let's start with the purple. Okay. Okay, so we got the purple. We're doing about, mm, about a nine inch tail. What colors would I use for cream and brown? Mm, I would find things that had cream and brown in them. Green would look good with cream and brown. <laughs> well, there is Sophia and Charlie. All right, so let's do six inch. So we're going to twist in the middle. So we just go out to the six. Okay. Twist. This is just like a bow embellishment. Because it's Halloween, so with Halloween you can do a little bit extra extra, right? There we go. Okay, so we can trim this off. So all you're doing is folding and cutting towards that edge. Okay, and then we're going to spread these out a little. Now we're going to put in my favorite. Gosh, I love this one so much. So we're going to do a little bit longer tail. Maybe like 12 inches. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I did something like this and it was just popping in my brain earlier. So I thought, mm -hmm, we're gonna do that tonight. Okay, so six inch, six inch. Then we'll bring it out, trim it off. I am not going to cut these because I want to be able to curl them. Yeah, I do exactly the same no matter what bow maker I'm using. Alright, so this ribbon is a patterned ribbon. So, with a patterned ribbon, burgundy would look good with cream and brown too. Yes, absolutely. I like that suggestion. Okay, so patterned ribbon. What you want to do with patterned ribbon is you, you can do two things. You can either twist it twice inside your bow maker or you can save yourself that trouble and do it. Halloween is your birthday? Oh, cool. I love Halloween. All right, so what you do is you get your tail, pinch it, put it in between your finger and your thumb. You just take your ribbon and you go go on your map from zero. Let's go from zero to eleven. So that's going to be five and a half. So on this side, where the pretty side is, you pull it underneath. You are not twisting. You're not stacking. You're just sh shoving it in there. That's what I think of it as. Same thing on the other side. So zero to the eleven. See, all I'm doing is just kind of stuffing it in there. So I want to make sure they match. They do. Okay. I'm not twisting it at all. So you don't want to twist it. Because if you twist it, this jack o' lantern is going to go in that direction and this one's going to go in this direction. So that's what we're trying to prevent. You can twist it twice on here. The only thing with that is that I find it makes it kind of bulky. And it can be kind of a pain to work with. So I like to do it this way. But you have to do it the way that works best for you. Whatever's more comfortable for you. Alright. I like all of my tails to go in the front. So I'll pull them out. Because I like that drama bow look. Okay. Whoops. Alright, now... So 
this is kind of a layered look, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's see, how far out do we want to go? So I want to take about 28 inches of this ribbon, cut it off. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm just going to pinch it in the center and put it down here. So the reason I'm doing that is because I want extra tails of this because we're going to curl it. All right, so now I can just start out my bow, my last little loop. So I want these to match this. So I'm just going to match it to this loop. Okay, pull it out. <clears throat> All right, now let's get out a zip tie. Let's see, I think the black one would be good. Is that the longest one I have? Yeah, I think it'll work okay. <clears throat> then we need a pipe cleaner. All right, so I just take this. I'm going to go under half, so I'm just going to pull it. Up, make sure I'm under the entire half of it. Start the bow. So this little trick here with the mesh is one way that you can kind of add stuff to your bow if you don't have a lot of ribbon, but you have extra mesh. All right, so take it off the bow maker. I'm gonna hold one side while I pull it around. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull things out. So I just want to spread my ribbons out. I pretty much already done that in the bow maker, but I just kind of do it again before I tighten anything. I want to make sure all of my tails are in the front. Flip it over. Then We'll put this through, tighten it. Whoops. Oh, who has a birthday? Happy birthday. Okay. So I like to leave that zip tie on there while I fluff it. So I'm gonna pull it, hold it. Okay, I'm gonna start from the back. Let me make this a little bigger. All right, start from the back. You're gonna fluff and twist. <laughs> I have to, right? It's the purple with the little purple, with the little purple stripes on it. You have to use it in the bow. Okay. So remember, you're twisting that to get it unstuck from the center, because when you tie it in, it gets kind of squished in the center. Oh yeah, you could definitely use mesh in a bow. You sure can, and it really helps to fluff it up. And I'll show you what I mean. As soon as we get this all pulled out. Okay. Now, I'm going to clip this off. So you see we have the mesh in the back. And then we have all of our ribbon. So the mesh you're not going to see a whole lot until we get it in the bow. I mean in the wreath. Aha! In the bow. Yeah, that was funny. Alright, so when I put this down, one thing I'm going to do is take this mesh and kind of pull it out like this. Because what I want is to see that little curl kind of coming out. Alright, I'm going to tie it down. Right in the center. Thank you. <laughs> You're both places. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Then I just tie. So I tie it right around, and then I just tie it around the frame. That way, it's nice and secured. All right. Now we're gonna re-fluff a little bit. 
just kind of pull everything back out because it'll get a little crushed while you're working on it and you can make sure that your mesh is going where you want it and you're going to do this oh let me Alright, so I was watching Kara last night and she reminded me of something. Y'all can take one of your old um, mesh rings and use it to curl your ribbon. And you just pull it out. See that? You want one that's pretty thin. I do this by hand, but if you're struggling with it, pull this out and do it. I like to take it and what I do is I kind of curl it while I'm pulling it up. It does the exact same thing. So if you're struggling with it, do that. But what I do is I take it, I twist it, and I kind of curl it at the same time. Especially ribbon like this does really well. Anything with the glitter on it. So that's why we did two of those tails. Yeah, I was watching Kara last night, and she did that, and I thought, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, and I think she stole it off of Michelle, but we'll share it. Alright, so there's the bow. You see how fun that is with all the little curly stuff on it? Okay, so now we're going to do the sign. So I had a request for an up close sign when I put it on. So we're going to do that. Uh, will the curl stay only if you used wired ribbon? So yep, that's a pretty much yes. If you use um, if you use unwired ribbon, you really have to put some kind of stiffener on it to make sure it does that. I know the shipping ruins them, but what you can do is um, either record a video or put instructions in your boxes. Um, and explain how to fluff it. And I will tell you, let me tell you, let me show you this one trick, okay? When you're getting ready to ship your wreaths, if you have something that's curly like this, take it and curl it underneath, just like this, all the way to the center. And then when they get it out, it's naturally going to fall out, okay? So that'll keep the curls. That's the best way to keep the curls. Um, you can also put a little tiny bit of tissue paper in between the bow loops. That also works. Just little tricks. And the tissue paper thing, yep, that's for my mom. Because that's what she used to do. <laughs> Is fluffing never ending for you? You just have to fluff it and walk away and walk away. Alrighty. So I'm just getting out four, about 20 inch pieces of this 26 gauge wire. My favorite thing. Okay. Sophia, tell Charlie that I'm going to do his sign this week. I'm not telling him what's on it. Yep. So when I was young, you know, when I was little, and my mom would get all the Christmas decorations out, and she would wrap everything in tissue paper, and she would put tissue paper or little cups in between the bow loops. So that's where I learned it from.
You need a sign that says what? Yes, I do have a tutorial on how to pack a wreath. Yep, it's right on my channel. I know, it has been a while. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, fluff and walk away. Oh, that's what you need. Hey, we need a shirt that says that, don't we? Oh my gosh. I think that's going to have to happen. Oh, good. Alright, so we have all four corners, and I did use the um, hole puncher. Now, I do have these on my in my shop. If I don't, let me know. I, I probably need to check what my quantity is, because I have some. Alright. This is how I make it easier to put signs on. I used to spend all this time putting signs on, and it used to stress me out. <laughs> because it just took forever. So, I came up with this easier method. All right, so here we go. What you do is you take this wire, you go, you pull in between the mesh, and you pull it right back here. Can you see that? So, I'm right in between these rows. Okay, then I take this other wire and I pull it right through the middle, a sign for a woman veteran. Ooh, I got to get on that. I agree. Okay, so then if we flip this over, you'll see here's my two wires. So you can see they are divided by this bar so you can tie it like this and then you just take it and you tie it around the bar sign for you too <laughs> okay that way you only have to tie it twice and then you don't have to tie it four times and it's much easier to reach so you do the exact same process on the bottom one. Okay, so this one goes in between the mesh right here. This one goes in the middle. I know, aren't they so cute? I know, I love gnomes. Not everybody likes gnomes, but I think they're just cute. I like other stuff too. The sign is made of um, aluminum that has been coated for sublimation and it's UV protected. So whenever you do these you want to make sure that they're UV protected because you don't want all these pretty colors to just disappear when they get outside. All right so let's see kind of get a backwards view. So here you can see this is where, whoop, let me come out big. Okay, this is where the one from the middle came. If you're worried about it squishing your mesh, just kind of pull it in between them. Like that. And it's just tied around this bar. And you'll see that sign is not going anywhere. So, it's on there. As long as you tie it onto the bar, you're good to go. That's all you have to do. And you may have to re-fluff your ribbons around the sign, but other than that, you should be good. So I hope that helps you. get better with the signs because I'm telling you I used to struggle with the signs too but now I do them this way and it's so much easier 
So, yep. <laughs> Owl hates ribbon, y'all. A ferret sign. Okay. Yeah. So, try the signs this way because I found that it works a lot better. Alright, so we're all done. So, look how fun. Look how fun that bow is with all that extra stuff. You can see the little bit of the mesh down here that's curling. How do you know what sign, size sign to use? Um, so, if you're using um, like a 15 inch work frame, the sizes that'll work would be seven by nine, um, six by 12, gobble till you wobble. I have one of those planned. <laughs> and um, you can use the 12 inch in the center but it is a little overwhelming. Thank you. I like the seven by nines because you still have plenty of room for the bow, but six by 12 work pretty well too. Thank you. Can I make an, an angel sign? Yes, I can. No, I think I have two snowman signs left and that's it. Thank you. My watch keeps wanting to fall off. Okay, y'all. Well, this was fun. So, be watching out. <laughs> Thank you. I did list um, a new Halloween one. It does not have gnomes in it. It is ghost. And they're cute. Sea turtle. Ooh. I need to put a poll out so y'all can tell me what you want. That would be a good idea. Thank you. All right. Y'all have... A sea turtle. I can do that. Oh, thank you for saying prayers for my mom. Don't forget to fluff it. <laughs> You're stuck on fluffing, Diane. That's funny. All right, Joe. Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful night and um, sign in shirt. Okay. And I will get all of that mesh listed hopefully tonight. If not tonight, I'll get it um, first thing in the morning. I have not listed the unicorn yet, but I will, and we will do a wreath with the unicorn for sure. If y'all didn't know, I have um, unicorn ribbon, and I have a big unicorn sign. So we're going to be listing that, and we're going to do something with that too. Thank you. All right, y'all have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys. Um, we'll say Wednesday, so I'll see you Friday and Sunday. Thank you. All right, bye, y'all.